any questions ayush sir uh sir so i am able to understand mathematically what is doing but sir uh, like i am not able to visualize this. like how 15 will may, may will not change the mean with respect of time okay so um so your question is how do you construct such a thing i mean how do you visualize or how do you construct such a process right yes sir so um it's easy to think of this in discrete time um for example if you take iid random variables right so you take you generate infinitely many iid random variables right x of 0 is gaussian with certain um, mean mu and variance sigma squared uh second also mean mu and uh, sigma squared and so on now if you look at uh the uh, for example the covariance what will happen it it, it only depends on well uh, in this case it's a trivial thing so it doesn't matter where you take uh, the the samples uh, the statistics will remain the same right that's a very elementary example of a stationary stochastic process so um if you look at uh, the previous lecture right so okay uh, let me so we looked at a few examples right uh, we looked at gauss markov process what can you say about uh, this so do you think this is a stationary process we looked at two things right so one is the uh, this sum process right so can you see the screen no no sir yes we need to do this no no not, not uh, the okay i'll just uh, uh, i'll just stop presenting and share again okay hmm now you can see right ha huh. so this is the sum process that we looked at in the last class so what can you say about this do you think this is stationary not really right because the mean it doesn't matter mean uh, mu of n turned out to be zero for every n right but the covariance right at time n and m it doesn't depend on the difference rather it depends on the minimum so uh, for example if you choose n n and m as 100 and 105 um, so the variance the covariance will be 100 times sigma squared whereas if you take 1000 and 1005 it will be 1000 sigma squared so the covariance depends on where you sample right um so it doesn't depend on the difference rather it depends on the minimum so it's not a stationary stochastic process uh what about the gaussian process is it stationary can you see if it's stationary or not hmm this is also depending on n hmm the co the covariance sir so expectation expectation ha huh, so um one thing we didn't do is uh, so what is the expected value of this expected value of uh, or the mean mean is zero right yes. so this is the covariance now um what can you say about uh, uh, the covariance so um is is it stationary by looking at the covariance can you say whether it's stationary or not so it's not depending on the difference um well uh, so what is the difference uh, like i am saying that it should be depending on like here t minus tau it was depending in stationary process mm -hmm. so here okay so what is the difference here m is the difference no, the, the, the difference is k right right sorry difference is m right in this case so the only thing is of course uh, you know if you look at just this right so this only depends on m so this guy depends on uh, 2n right so now if you uh, choose n sufficiently large right what will happen to alpha power 2n if alpha is less than 1 of course it has to be less than 1 right a modulus of alpha should be less than 1 
so alpha power 2n will go down to zero right so for sufficiently large alpha this is approximately you know it depends only on m it doesn't depend on uh, n right so in other words it depends on the difference n plus m minus n is m right so um um it it is in this case it is asymptotically stationary meaning if you pick large n practically it becomes stationary it doesn't matter where you pick uh, the two samples from uh, essentially it depends on the difference not on the absolute do you agree yes right so this is one example where uh, you know uh, things are stationary this is an example of a stationary uh, process we will look at more more examples uh, later on okay of stationary uh, process is that okay yes yes sir okay yeah sir